We have been hearing multiple reports about new GPU comers for the past few years, but none of them have actually made it to the mainstream market where we could see alternative GPUs to AMD and Nvidia. Except for Intel, almost every GPU maker has either failed or could not improvise to the point where their GPUs would become truly usable. One of the biggest examples of this is China exclusive More Threads MTTS80 GPU, which even though features high end specs such as 4000 cores and 16 GB VRAM, isn't able to perform consistently good in different times. Titles. Currently, there are as many as 13 GPU manufacturers in China, but none could actually come closer to Nvidia whether we talk about gaming or even data center GPUs. But this, this one is different. This is the first time we are seeing a possible threat to Nvidia where this new GPU maker called Dengling Technology is making both gaming and data center GPUs that would actually be using the computing language which is exclusive to Nvidia. As reported by John Petty, unlike AMD and Intel, Dengling GPU Plus technology provides a software defined on-chip heterogeneous computing architecture that will be compatible with both CUDA and OpenCL programming languages. While AMD and Intel make use of OpenCL, CUDA has been Nvidia's proprietary compute model only available to Nvidia GPUs. Compared to OpenCL, CUDA can dramatically speed up computing applications and has been used to develop popular programs like those of Adobe and Autodesk. The company not only received funding from ChinaNet Investment but also has prepared four GPUs for AI-based compute acceleration. This generation family is called Gold Wasser, where the entry-level chip features two power-efficient additions featuring 4 to 16 GB of VRAM and a TDP of 10 to 15 watts. These are compatible with PCIe X4 slots and also include an MXM version for laptops. For full PCIe 16 slots, Dengling has Gold Wasser LN XL, where the floating point and integer operation performance are significantly higher, and the GPUs feature 32 to 64 gigabytes of memory. These GPUs will operate in a power range of 25 to 100. 120 watts and the company promises to deliver up to 5 times performance gain in transformer based models along with reducing hardware cost in chat GPT and generative AI workloads. Now this can be a serious threat to Nvidia GPUs as it is already costlier for the green team to sell powerful chips like H800 due to US restrictions. Unlike other parts of the world, Nvidia has to sell computing GPUs at a significantly higher price in China due to the same reason. But dangling GPUs here will be domestic products that probably won't see such restrictions. However, it is still not clear from where the company is outsourcing its chips. Most likely these chips are getting produced in China itself because when the last time another Chinese GPU manufacturer called Biden Tech tried to secure 7 nanometers wafers, it was restricted because US suspended TSMC from supplying the chips to China. However, as we already see fully developed GPUs by dangling, it is possible that Nvidia will finally have a big competitor in the GPU market which not only will take benefit from OpenCL but also from CUDA programming model. Currently, the company hasn't revealed its gaming GPU lineup but as reports say, these four GPUs are made for both gaming and AI training. It is also possible that Goldwasser GPUs are also capable of gaming or it may mean that the company will release gaming dedicated GPUs in the same lineup very soon. Whatever the case is, we can finally see PC gaming growing faster than before considering that the global GPU industry is projected to grow from $33 billion to $477 billion by 2030. This means there will be a growing demand from not only high-end software office users but also also from gamers. And if you are looking to build a gaming system for yourself, then I recommend checking out my guide on how to build a gaming PC completely from scratch, where not only I explain what parts and tools you need to build your gaming PC, but also how to install each component step by step with clear images and instructions. On top of that, you will find parts recommendations for different budgets, and if you ever need any assistance, you can leave your comment in the comments box. The guide is completely free to use, and you can find my link in the description below. And with that, let's move on to another interesting report about Intel's Arrow Lake CPUs that have been recently leaked by Igor's lab. According to the leaked presentations, it was found out that Intel Arrow Lake S for desktop is just 6-21% faster than the Raptor Lake refresh. While this may not seem significant, it is actually far better in integrated graphics where it is up to 2.4 times faster than the integrated graphics on the Raptor Lake refresh. But this does not ignore the fact that we already have Meteor Lake CPUs that are going to feature far superior graphical performance than Arrow Lake CPUs as Arrow Lake will only feature up to 8 XC cores while Meteor Lake will feature up to 128 XC cores. So what remains is the actual core performance which does not look impressive at all. Just 6% faster single core performance is nothing when going from one generation to another and AMD might easily annihilate Arrow Lake with Zen 5 considering that it is rumored to feature a 20-25% IPC uplift and has a ladder cache system. As RGT reported in his recent video, the Zen 5 IPC uplift from Zen 4 will be higher than going from Zen 2 to Zen 3 and there will be improvements in multiple areas 
DAS such as decoders and logic units and there will be also some new CPU instructions. One thing looks clear that AMD is not only focusing on improving its mainstream CPUs but is also dedicated to improving its APUs like Strixpoint which is supposedly going to feature RDNA 3.5 architecture for integrated graphics. You can know more about it in this video right here but don't forget to let me know your thoughts on the stories I shared in the video. Lastly hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more videos like this. Also turn on the notifications to never miss such videos in the future and I will see you in the next one.